have on the races. Let's talk to this guy, Frank Luntz, with the red, white, and blue uh, sneakers. He joins us live in the studio today. Well, I've got to be comfortable because this is going to be a very long day, long night. We've been looking at both the general public reaction to how much unions have spent in this election campaign. One billion dollars, it's estimated. Billion. Billion over this whole election cycle in independent expenditures, direct contributions, and assistance from their own members, and the American people are ticked. We went to Cleveland, Ohio, Union Central, mm -hmm. in Swing State Central, to take a look, to listen to what voters had to say. Let's let them speak. Okay. I don't agree with spending my dues uh, on endorsing one candidate. Uh, you know, it, it could be the Republican, it could be the Democrat, it doesn't matter. I don't want him to do endorsing, spending my money to do that. Do you guys agree with this? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Does it make you angry? Yes, Absolutely. and I'm a former union member. I just uh, don't think that the power that has been imbued into the unions re is, it should be an influencing factor in our elections. We Bob, should stay out. Shouldn't the unions have the right to spend whatever yeah, they want? They should, absolutely. And I think the members, unfortunately, no. we're, we're thinking in terms of the union hierarchy. Unions. I think the members of unions have a whole different yeah, idea right. about what unions ought to be doing, if and they're the not being listened to. If the members of the union are actually, if they're actually, the unions are doing the will of their members, then absolutely. But if they're not, then absolutely not. Unions, I think the Democrats unions are just are like Congress today. There's, there's far too much power exactly. in the hands of far too few people. Yes. Big, big I, I, have, similarity. I, have, I have no problem with the union spending the money. Ever. I do have a problem with them influencing my vote. I am not going to vote for somebody on their basis. Just not going to do it. I don't like I, I, I have a problem that, that they're making a big point that the Republicans are getting all this money from the Chamber of Commerce and the unions are giving more money to the election than the Chamber of Commerce. And I want to give you two statistics. And this is from That was great. Thank you. This is from a Freedom Works poll that was just finished yesterday. We asked the question, who better represents the American mainstream, Nancy Pelosi or the Tea Party, 45 to 31 Tea Party? We asked the same thing of the unions, who better represents America, mm -hmm. the unions or the Tea Party. It is 40 percent to 31, let me bring it back up again, 40 to 28, the Tea Party over the labor unions. Mm -hmm. You've got the Tea Party on the rise and the labor unions on the, on the decline. Yeah. Right, and it was so interesting. The White House, Democrats are upset at the White House for focusing on the Chamber of Commerce, as your last, uh, as your last uh, yeah. member just gave, for putting money into focusing on international contributions, which it made no sense. Democrats were upset by the left turn there. So what's happening now is the election will be over at the end of today, and the union membership is looking at just how much money was spent from their mandatory union dues. And they're mad as hell mm -hmm. because they did not want Nancy Pelosi as speaker. They did not want to defend the incumbents. They lean Democrat, to sure. be clear. But they didn't want to support these Democrats, right. and their money was taken from them and spent that way. It's one of the reasons why the Tea Party effort has been so successful, right. because the elites aren't listening to the American people. All right, and today a big day in America with us going to the, to the polling places. You're wearing red, white, and blue up top, but down below as well. Where, where can I get some shoes like that? Uh, you have to work for Major League Baseball, <laughs> and I don't, okay. know, I, I don't know if Fox will let you do that. <laughs> well, they're good looking, the perfect ones to uh, run right. the polls with. Hey, guess what? Uh, right mm -hmm. after this break, he has just voted, and he's probably in one of the most highly contested elections in the country. Pat Toomey will be joining us live. Excellent. Excellent.